Well, in fact, as educators and researchers, we start by looking at problems and then figure out how we can use ideas and knowledge to help sorting out those problems. At the Nursing School of Lisbon, we have developed and researched behavior change interventions for people with chronic diseases. And as part of this work, we identified opportunities for improvement in the education of health students and healthcare professionals, especially considering the European agenda on digital transformation in education and training. And this is how the idea for the project was born. We are seven partners from five countries led by the Nursing School of Lisbon. Uh, the partners are the European Students' Union based in Belgium, in Holland University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands, Escola Superior de Desporto de Rio Maior in Portugal, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, two schools of the University of Lisbon here in Portugal, the Faculty of Sciences and the Faculty of Pharmacy, and the University of Maribor, the Faculty of Health Sciences in Slovenia. We are a large team with an interdisciplinary background ranging from nursing, pharmacy, sports sciences, informatics, law, and some other areas. And this makes work truly exciting. I also take the opportunity to thank uh, our funder, the European Union, via the Erasmus Plus program for supporting the project and bringing together European countries for advancing education in an area with great potential for societal impact. The main achievements uh, in the project first year. I'd like to stress two different areas, a teamwork and the outputs we have accomplished. We had worked previously with some partners in this consortium and others were newcomers. Um, getting everyone working as a team is critical to deliver outputs in an efficient manner. So in this first year, we got to know each other better, we built synergies, we dealt with a pandemic that had huge implications in our workflows. And I think we got to the point where I can see a work culture emerging that defines us as a team. And all this is an achievement in itself. On the outputs front, um, we have finished the Delphi panel to consensualize a European competency framework on behavior change support. Uh, and this was conducted during lockdown. We arrived to a final draft of a set of learning outcomes um, and a draft of a curriculum. And both the learning outcomes and the curriculum are in turn aligned with the competency framework. And we started to involve students from our target groups, nursing, pharmacy, and sports sciences, as well as their educators in needs assessment and co-production of the educational products. So case studies, the MOOC, and the simulation software. Um, in addition, we implemented a numerous communication and dissemination activities. What are the plans for the second year? I continue to work hard, deliver what we committed to in terms of the project plan, adjusting to a pandemic scenario, excel if possible, even going through a pandemic, and never forget why we are doing this. We want to push the boundaries of behavior change support education for people with chronic diseases. We want to make a difference for students and for people that live with chronic diseases.